let's have a talk because a lot of people are fearful of coming to Christ because they feel like they're gonna lose more than they're gonna gain. With serving Christ, a lot of sacrifice comes into play. You have to give up a lot of things, if not everything. Sometimes you may even have to stop talking to certain people, friends, family. You may have to give up some jobs and lifestyles that you're living. But it's not because the Lord is forcing us. It's because those things no longer will serve you once you are walking in Christ. Not so much with family. You know, sometimes the Lord will raise you up to go back and preach to those that are unsaved in your family and help draw them in. And sometimes your life, your testimony will be an eye opener and will help bring in your family. Because let's be real, our families, a lot of them know and have dealt with our past and we've taken advantage of a lot of people in our family and so on and so forth. So they, they're not going to be too keen on hearing the things that we say. But this is why we must move by our actions. Let people see that you serve Christ by your walk. But a lot of people don't want to give up certain things. This is why the Bible even says it's harder for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because they would have to sell all their belongings and bring themselves down to a humble state. When you are rich and you have everything handed to you, you're not, you know, a lot of those people don't even think that they need God. Because they're like, I got everything that I could ever need. What do I need a God for? Or a lot of them proclaim to be their own God. But this is just some encouragement for the ones who do want to step out on faith and try God. Let's go to Matthew 19, 29. It says, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. The Lord will restore. He will restore everything that you have forsaken for him. Everything that you had to leave behind for his name's sake. And God is not a man that he shall lie. So if it's in his word, then so be it. If he said it, it will happen. So this is just some encouragement, you guys. Don't feel bad about leaving those things behind. The Lord is all we need and he will restore you.